France national football team, Wikipedia audio. The France national football team represents France in international football. The team's colors are blue, white, and red, and the Coke Galois its symbol. France are colloquially known as Les Blues. France play home matches at the Stade de France in Saint Denis, Paris, and the current manager is Didier Deschamps. They have won one FIFA World Cup, two UEFA European Championships, an Olympic tournament, and two FIFA Confederations Cups. France experienced much of its success in three major eras in the 1950s, 1980s and late 1990s early 2000s respectively, which resulted in numerous major honours. France was one of the four European teams that participated in the inaugural World Cup in 1930 and, although having been eliminated in the qualification stage six times, is one of only three teams that have entered every World Cup cycle. In 1958, the team, led by Raymond Coppa and Just Fontaine, finished in third place at the FIFA World Cup. In 1984, France, led by Ballon d'Or winner Michel Platini, won UEFA Euro 1984. History under the leadership of Didier Deschamps and three-time FIFA World Player of the Year Zinedine Zidane, France won the FIFA World Cup in 1998. Two years later, the team triumphed at UEFA Euro 2000. France won the FIFA Confederations Cup in 2001 and 2003, and reached the 2006 FIFA World Cup final which it lost 5-3 on penalties to Italy. The team also reached the final of UEFA Euro 2016, where they lost 1-0 to Portugal in extra time. France, Germany, Argentina and Brazil are the only national teams that have won the three most important men's titles recognized by FIFA, the World Cup, the Confederations Cup and the Olympic Tournament. They have also won their respective continental championship. The France national football team was created in 1904 around the time of FIFA's foundation on May 21, 1904 and contested its first official international match on May 1, 1904 against Belgium in Brussels, which ended in a 3-3 draw. The following year, on February 12, 1905, France contested their first ever home match against Switzerland. The match was played at the Parc des Princes in front of 500 supporters. France won the match 1-0 with the only goal coming from Gaston Suprès. Due to disagreements between FIFA and the Union des Sociétés Françaises de Sports Athletics, the country's sports union, France struggled to establish an identity. On May 9, 1908, the French Inter-Federal Committee, a rival organization to the USFSA, ruled that FIFA would now be responsible for the club's appearances in forthcoming Olympics Games and not the USFSA. In 1919, the CFI transformed themselves into the French Football Federation. In 1921, the USFSA finally merged with the FFF. In July 1930, France appeared in the inaugural FIFA World Cup, held in Uruguay. In their first ever World Cup match, France defeated Mexico 4-1 at the Estadio Pasitos in Montevideo. Lucien Laurent became notable in the match as he scored not only France's first World Cup goal, but the first goal in World Cup history. Conversely, France also became the first team to not score in a match after losing 1-0 to fellow group stage opponents Argentina. Another loss to Chile resulted in the team bowing out in the group stage. 
The following year saw the first selection of a black player to the national team. Raul Diagni, who was of Senegalese descent, earned his first cap on February 15 in a 2-1 defeat to Czechoslovakia. Diagni later played with the team at the 1938 World Cup, alongside Larbi Benbarak, who was one of the first players of North African origin to play for the national team. At the 1934 World Cup, France suffered elimination in the opening round, losing 3-2 to Austria. On the team's return to Paris, they were greeted as heroes by a crowd of over 4,000 supporters. France hosted the 1938 World Cup and reached the quarter-finals, losing 3-1 to defending champions Italy. The 1950s saw France handed its first golden generation composed of players such as Just Fontaine, Raymond Kopa, Jean Vincent, Robert Jonquet, Marion Wisniewski, Thady Sosowski, and Armand Penvern. At the 1958 World Cup, France reached the semi-finals losing to Brazil. In the third-place match, France defeated West Germany 6-3 with Fontaine recording four goals, which brought his goal tally in the competition to 13, a World Cup record. The record still stands today. France hosted the inaugural UEFA European Football Championship in 1960 and, for the second straight international tournament, reached the semi-finals. In the round, France faced Yugoslavia and were shocked 5-4 despite being up 4-2 heading into the 75th minute. In the third-place match, France were defeated 2-0 by the Czechoslovakians. The 1960s and 70s saw France decline significantly playing under several managers and failing to qualify for numerous international tournaments. On April 25, 1964, Henri Guérin was officially installed as the team's first manager. Under Guérin, France failed to qualify for the 1962 World Cup and the 1964 European Nations Cup. The team did return to major international play following qualification for the 1966 World Cup. The team lost in the group stage portion of the tournament. Guerin was fired following the World Cup. He was replaced by Jose Arabas and Jean Snella, who worked as caretaker managers in dual roles. The two only lasted four matches and were replaced by former international Just Fontaine, who only lasted two. Louis Dugaigs succeeded Fontaine and, Following his early struggles in qualification for the 1970 World Cup, was fired and replaced by Georges Ballone, who could not get the team to the competition. Ballone was later fired following his failure to qualify for the 1974 World Cup and was replaced by the Romanian Tefan Kovacs, who became the only international manager to ever manage the national team. Kovacs also turned out to be a disappointment failing to qualify for the 1974 World Cup and UEFA Euro 1976. After two years in charge, he was sacked and replaced with Michel Hidalgo. Under Hidalgo, France flourished, mainly due to the accolades of great players like defenders Marius Tresser and Maxime Bossis striker Dominique Rocheteau and midfielder Michel Platini, who, alongside Jean Tigana, Alain Gyrus and Luis Fernandez formed the Care Magic, which would haunt opposing defences beginning at the 1982 World Cup, where France reached the semi-finals losing on penalties to rivals West Germany. The semi-final matchup is considered one of the greatest matches in World Cup history and was marred with controversy. France earned their first major international honor two years later, winning Euro 1984, which they hosted. Under the leadership of Platini, 
who scored a tournament high nine goals, France defeated Spain 2-0 in the final. Platini and Bruno Belloni scored the goals. Following the Euro triumph, Hidalgo departed the team and was replaced by former international Henri Michel. France later completed the hat trick when they won gold at the 1984 Summer Olympics football tournament and, a year later, defeated Uruguay 2 0 to win the Artemio Franchi Trophy, an early precursor to the FIFA Confederations Cup. Dominique Rochato and Jose Turi scored the goals. In a span of a year, France were holders of three of the four major international trophies. At the 1986 World Cup, France were favourites to win the competition, and, for the second consecutive World Cup, reached the semi-finals where they faced West Germany. Again, however, they lost. A 4-2 victory over Belgium gave France third place. In 1988, the FFF opened the Clairefontaine National Football Institute. Its opening ceremony was attended by then-president of France, François Mitterrand. Five months after Clairefontaine's opening, manager Henri Michel was fired and was replaced by Michel Platini who failed to get the team to the 1990 World Cup. Platini did lead the team to Euro 1992 and, despite going on a 19-match unbeaten streak prior to the competition, suffered elimination in the group stage. A week after the completion of the tournament, Platini stepped down as manager and was replaced by his assistant Gerard Howlier. Under Howlier, France and its supporters experienced a heartbreaking meltdown after having qualification to the 1994 World Cup all but secured with two matches to go, which were against last place Israel and Bulgaria. In the match against Israel, France were upset 3-2 and, in the Bulgaria match, suffered an astronomical 2-1 defeat. The subsequent blame and public outcry to the firing of Howlier and departure of several players from the national team fold. His assistant Amé Jacquet was given his post. Under Jacquet, the national team experienced its triumphant years. The squad composed of veterans that failed to reach the 1994 FIFA World Cup were joined by influential youngsters, such as Zinedine Zidane. The team started off well reaching the semi-finals of Euro 1996, where they lost 6-5 on penalties to the Czech Republic. In the team's next major tournament at the 1998 World Cup at home, Jacquet led France to glory defeating Brazil 3-0 in the final at the Stade de France in Paris. Jacquet stepped down after the country's World Cup triumph and was succeeded by assistant Roger Lemaire who guided them through Euro 2000. Led by FIFA World Player of the Year Zidane, France defeated Italy 2-1 in the final. David Trezeguet scored the golden goal in extra time. The victory gave the team the distinction of being the first national team to hold both the World Cup and Euro titles since West Germany did so in 1974, and it was also the first time that a reigning World Cup winner went on to capture the Euro. Following the result, the France national team was inserted to the number one spot in the FIFA World Rankings. 2018 FIFA World Cup France failed to maintain that pace in subsequent tournaments. Although, the team won the 2001 FIFA Confederations Cup, France suffered a stunning goalless first-round elimination at the 2002 World Cup. One of the greatest shocks in World Cup history saw France condemned to a 1-0 defeat to debutantes Senegal in the opening game of the tournament. France became the second nation to be eliminated in the first round while holding the World Cup crown, the first one being Brazil in 1966. 
After the 2010 and 2014 World Cups, Italy and Spain were also added to this list. After France finished bottom of the group, Limer was dismissed and was replaced by Jacques Santini. A full-strength team started out strongly at Euro 2004, but they were upset in the quarter-finals by the eventual winners Greece. Santini resigned as coach and Raymond Domenech was picked as his replacement. France struggled in the early qualifiers for the 2006 World Cup. This prompted Domenech to persuade several past members out of international retirement to help the national team qualify, which they accomplished following a convincing 4-0 win over Cyprus on the final day of qualifying. In the 2006 World Cup final stages, France finished undefeated in the group stage portion and advanced all the way to the final defeating the likes of Spain, Brazil and Portugal en route. France played Italy in the final end, in part down to controversial disruptions in extra time that lead to captain Zinedine Zidane being sent off, failed to find a winning goal. Italy winning 5-3 on penalties to be crowned World Cup champions. France started its qualifying round for Euro 2008 strong and qualified for the tournament, despite two defeats to Scotland. France bowed out during the group stage portion of the tournament after having been placed in the group of death. Just like the team's previous World Cup qualifying campaign, the 2010 campaign got off to a disappointing start with France suffering disastrous losses and earning uninspired victories. France eventually finished second in the group and earned a spot in the UEFA playoffs against the Republic of Ireland for a place in South Africa. In the first leg, France defeated the Irish 1-0 and in the second leg procured a 1-1 draw via controversial circumstances, to qualify for the World Cup. In the 2010 World Cup final stages, the team continued to perform under expectations and were eliminated in the group stage, while the negative publicity the national team received during the competition led to further repercussions back in France. Midway through the competition, Striker Nicolas Anelka was dismissed from the national team after reportedly having a dispute, in which obscenities were passed, with team manager Raymond Domenech during halftime of the team's loss to Mexico. The resulting disagreement over Anelka's expulsion between the players, the coaching staff and FFF officials resulted in the players boycotting training before their third game. In response to the training boycott, Sports Minister Rosalind Bachelet lectured the players and reduced France's disgraced World Cup stars to tears with an emotional speech on the eve of their final Group A match. France then lost their final game 2-1 to the hosts South Africa and failed to advance. The day after the team's elimination, it was reported by numerous media outlets that then-President of France Nicolas Sarkozy would meet with team captain Thierry Henry to discuss the issues associated with the team's meltdown at the World Cup, at Henry's request. Following the completion of the World Cup tournament, Federation President Jean-Pierre Escalettes resigned from his position. Domenech, whose contract already expired, was succeeded as head coach by former international Laurent Blanc. On July 23, 2010, at the request of Blanc, the FFF suspended all 23 players in the World Cup squad for the team's friendly match against Norway after the World Cup. On August 6, five players who were deemed to have played a major role in the training boycott were disciplined for their roles. France were drawn in Group D of Euro 2012 qualifying and topped their group, thus automatically qualifying for Euro 2012. In the finals in Poland and Ukraine, France were in Group D along with England, Sweden and Ukraine. 
France began Euro 2012 with a 1-1 draw against England, which was followed by a 2-0 win over CO hosts Ukraine. Although France lost their final group game 0-2 to Sweden, they ended second in their group and qualified for the quarter-finals, where they were beaten by eventual champions Spain. Following the tournament, coach Laurent Blanc resigned and was succeeded by Didier Deschamps, who captained France to glory in the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000. France were drawn in Group I of the UEFA Zone qualification for the 2014 World Cup and came second, then facing Ukraine in the playoffs. In the first leg at Kiev, France lost 2-0, forcing them to win the second leg by at least three goals in order to qualify. In the second leg at home, France won 3-0 thanks to a brace by Mamadou Sakho and a goal from Karim Benzema. Deschamps then extended his contract till Euro 2016. France were drawn in Group E of the 2014 World Cup along with Switzerland, Ecuador and Honduras. Although expectations were not very high for France, they were expected to make at least the round of 16. France suffered a huge setback just before the World Cup as star midfielder Frank Ribéry would miss the tournament through injury. France started the World Cup with a 3-0 win against Honduras in which Benzema bagged a brace. This was followed with a 5-2 thrashing of Switzerland and a goalless draw against Ecuador, which was enough for France to win the group and qualify for the knockout stages. France's round of 16 opponents were Nigeria. France won 2-0 and would set up a quarter-final clash against Germany. France were beaten by Germany in the quarter-finals courtesy of an early goal by Mats Hummels. Paul Pogba was awarded the Best Young Player award during the tournament. France automatically qualified for Euro 2016 by virtue of being hosts and were considered one of the tournament favourites considering the fact that they had won the last two major tournaments which they hosted. Benzema and Hadam Ben Arfa were not in the squad. France were drawn in Group A of the tournament alongside Romania, Switzerland and Minos Albania. France won their group with wins over Romania and Albania in a goalless draw against Switzerland and were poised to face the Republic of Ireland in the round of 16. Ireland took the lead after just two minutes through a controversially awarded penalty, which was converted by Robbie Brady. A brace from Antoine Griezmann, however, helped France to win the match 2-1 and qualify for the quarter-finals where they beat a resilient Iceland 5-2 to set up a semi-final clash against world champions and tournament CO favourites Germany. France won the match 2-0 and this marked their first win over Germany at a major tournament since 1958. France, however, were beaten by Portugal 1-0 in the final courtesy of an extra-time goal by Eder. Griezmann was named the player of the tournament and was also awarded the Golden Boot in addition to being named in the team of the tournament, alongside Dimitri Payet. The defeat meant that France became the second nation to lose the final of a European Championship on home soil after Portugal failed to secure the title in 2004. Home Stadium Team Image France were potted in Group A of the UEFA Zone of the 2018 World Cup qualifiers along with Netherlands and Sweden. Les Blues had a shaky start to their campaign as they began with a 0-0 draw against Belarus at Barisa. They bounced back with a 4-1 thrashing of Bulgaria which was followed by a 1-0 win against Netherlands at Amsterdam. France won another two matches against Sweden and Luxembourg before being beaten by the Swedes in the return leg at Solna. France went through the remainder of the qualifying unbeaten and topped their group to qualify for their 15th FIFA World Cup.
Media coverage. Kit. Nickname. Representing multi-ethnic France. Coaching staff. During France's early years, the team's national stadium alternated between the Parc des Princes in Paris and the State Olympique Yves du Manoir in Colombes. France also hosted matches at the Stade Pershing, Stade de Paris, and the Stade Buffalo, but to a minimal degree. As the years moved forward, France began hosting matches outside the city of Paris at such venues as the Stade Marcel Sopin in Nantes, the Stade Villadrome in Marseille, the Stade de Guerland in Lyon, and the Stade de la Maina in Strasbourg. Following the renovation of the Parc des Princes in 1972, which gave the stadium the largest capacity in Paris, France moved into the venue permanently. The team still hosted friendly matches and minor FIFA World Cup and UEFA European Football Championship qualification matches at other venues. Twice France have played home matches in a French overseas department in 2005 against Costa Rica in Fort de France and in 2010 against China in Saint Denis. Both matches were friendlies. In 1998, the Stade de France was inaugurated as France's national stadium ahead of the 1998 World Cup. Located in Saint Denis, a Parisian suburb, the stadium has an all-seater capacity of 81,338. France's first match at the stadium was played on January 28, 1998 against Spain. France won the match 1-0, with Zinedine Zidane scoring the lone goal. Since that match, France has used the stadium for almost every major home game including the 1998 World Cup Final. Players Prior to matches, home or away, the national team trains at the Clairefontaine Academy in clairefontaine nivelles Clairefontaine is the National Association Football Center and is among 12 elite academies throughout the country. The center was inaugurated in 1976 by former FFF president Fernand Sastre and opened in 1988. The center drew media spotlight following its usage as a base camp by the team that won the 1998 World Cup. In the 20th and 23rd minute of an international friendly on November 13, 2015, against Germany, Three groups of terrorists attempted to detonate bomb vests, at three entrances of Stade de France, and two explosions occurred. Play would continue, until the 94th minute, in order to keep the crowd from panicking. Consequently, the stadium was evacuated through the unaffected gates of the stadium away from the players' benches. Due to the blocked exits, Spectators who could not leave the stadium had to go down to the pitch and wait until it was safer. The national team currently has a broadcasting agreement with TF1 Group, who control the country's main national TV channel, TF1. The current agreement was set to expire following the 2010 World Cup. On December 18, 2009, the Federal Council of the FFF agreed to extend its exclusive broadcasting agreement with the channel. The New Deal grants the channel exclusive broadcast rights for the matches of national team, which include friendlies and international games for the next four seasons beginning in August 2010 and ending in June 2014. TF1 will also have extended rights, notably on the Internet and may also broadcast images of the national team in its weekly program, Telefoot. The FFF will receive €45 million Euros a season, a €10 million Euros decrease from the €55 million Euros they received from the previous agreement reached in 2006.
The France national team utilizes a three-color system composed of blue, white and red. The team's three colors originate from the national flag of France, known as the Tricolore. France have brandished the colors since their first official international match against Belgium in 1904. Since the team's inception, France normally wear blue shirts, white shorts and red socks at home, while, when on the road, the team utilizes an all-white combination or wear red shirts, blue shorts and blue socks with the former being the most current. Between 1909-1914, France wore a white shirt with blue stripes, white shorts, and red socks. In a 1978 World Cup match against Hungary in Mar del Plata, both teams arrived at Estadio José María Manela with white kits, so France played in green and white striped shirts borrowed from Club Atlético Kimberley. Beginning in 1966, France had its shirts made by L.E. Coke Sportif until 1971. In 1972, France reached an agreement with German sports apparel manufacturer Adidas to be the team's kit provider. Over the next 38 years, the two would maintain a healthy relationship with France winning Euro 1984 the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000 while wearing Adidas' famous tricolor three stripes during the 2006 World Cup, France wore an all-white change strip in all four of its knockout matches, including the final. On February 22, 2008, the FFF announced that they were ending their partnership with Adidas and signing with Nike effective January 1, 2011. The unprecedented deal was valued at 320 million euros over seven years. Making France's blue shirt the most expensive ever in the history of football. The first France kit worn in a major tournament produced by Nike was the Euro 2012 strip, which was all dark blue and used gold as an accent color. In February 2013, Nike revealed an all-baby blue change strip. In advance of France's hosting of Euro 2016, Nike unveiled a new, unconventional kit set, blue shirts and shorts with red socks at home, white shirts and shorts and with blue socks away. The away shirt as worn in pre-Euro friendlies and released to the public also featured one blue sleeve and one red sleeve in reference to the tricolore. However, due to UEFA regulations, France was forced to wear a modified version with the sleeve colors almost desaturated in their Euro 2016 group stage game against Switzerland which continued to be worn during 2018 World Cup qualifying. Current Squad France is often referred to by the media and supporters as Les Blues, which is the nickname associated with all of France's international sporting teams due to the blue shirts each team incorporates. The team is also referred to as Lay Tricolors or LA Keep Tricolor due to the team's utilization of the country's national colors, blue, white and red. During the 1980s, France earned the nickname the Brazilians of Europe mainly due to the accolades of the Care Magic, who were anchored by Michel Platini. Led by coach Michel Hidalgo, France exhibited an inspiring, elegant, skillful and technically advanced offensive style of football, which was strikingly similar to their South American counterparts. The France national team has long reflected the ethnic diversity of the country. Already in its first decades, there were in the France national team players that was considered of non-genuinely French origin, being descendants of immigrants of former colonies of the French colonial empire or of European countries neighboring France. The first black player to play in the national team was Raoul Diagne in 1931. 
Diagne was the son of the first African elected to the French National Assembly, Blaise Diagne. Seven years later, Diagne played on the 1938 FIFA World Cup team that featured Abdelkader Ben Bouali and Michel Brussos, who were the first players of North African descent to play for the national team. At the 1958 World Cup, in which France reached the semi-finals, many sons of immigrants were integral to the team's success. The tradition has since continued, with successful French players such as Michel Platini, Jean Tigana, Manuel Amaras, Eric Cantona, Zinedine Zidane, Patrick Vieira, David Trezeguet, Claude Maclel, Samir Nasri, Hadam Ben Arfa and Karim Benzema all having either one or both of their parents foreign-born. Recent Call UPS During the 1990s, the team was widely celebrated as an example of the modern multicultural French ideal. The 1998 World Cup winning team was celebrated and praised for inspiring pride and optimism about the prospects for the French model of social integration. Of the 23 players on the team, the squad featured players who could trace their origins to Armenia, Algeria, Guadeloupe, New Caledonia, Argentina, Ghana, Senegal, Italy, French Guiana, Portugal, and Martinique with the patriarch of the team being Zendine Zidane, who was born in Marseille to Algerian immigrants. The multiracial makeup of the team has, at times, provoked controversy. In recent years, critics on the far right of the French political spectrum have taken issue with the proportional under-representation of ethnic white Frenchmen within the team. National Front politician Jean-Marie Le Pen protested in 1998 that the Black, Blanc, Beer team that won the World Cup did not look sufficiently French. In 2002, led by Ghanaian-born Marcel de Sailly, the French team unanimously and publicly appealed to the French voting public to reject the presidential candidacy of Le Pen and, instead, return President Jacques Chirac to office. In 2006, Le Pen resumed his criticism charging that coach Raymond Domenech had selected too many black players. In 2005, French Jewish conservative writer Alain Finke Ekrau caused controversy by punning to the Israeli newspaper Haaretz that despite its earlier slogan, the French national team is in fact black black black, and also adding that, France is made fun of all around Europe because of that. He later apologized for the comments declaring that they were not meant to be offensive. Results and Fixtures 2017 2018 the socio-ethnic divide between the public and the team reached a climax during the 2010 World Cup. The team was qualified despite the captain handled the qualifying goal with his hands. Once in South Africa, the team did not manage to score a goal in their first two matches, leaving almost no chance of going through save an exceptional win over hosts South Africa. Thereafter. The players went on strike because of what they saw as mismanagement of the Nicholas Anelka case. Anelka had been forced to depart after a slur that leaked to the press. Players said he was misquoted, and complained of the alleged leaker from the staff, the media, and the federation. Instead of training, coach Raymond Domenech read the players' petition live on television to the stunned journalists. Some sarkozy filian government members described the mutiny as ban leeway behavior, and the players as racaile, words which have clear ethnic connotations. The national team's overall impact on France's efforts to integrate its minorities and come to terms with its colonial past has been mixed. In 2001, France played a friendly match at the Stade de France 
the site of its 1998 World Cup triumph, against Algeria. It was the country's first meeting with its former colony, with whom it had fought a war from 1954 to 1962, and it proved controversial. France's national anthem, La Marseillaise, was booed by Algerian supporters before the game, and following a French goal that made the score 4-1 in the second half, spectators ran onto the field of play, which caused play to be suspended. It was never resumed. In April 2011, the French investigative website Mediapart released a story which claimed that the FFF had been attempting to secretly put in place a quota system in order to limit the number of dual citizenship players in its national academies. Quoting a senior figure in the FFF, the organization was said to have wanted to set a cap of 30% on the number of players of dual nationality by limiting places in the academies in the 12-13 age bracket. The FFF responded by releasing a public statement on its website denying the report, stating, one of its elected bodies has been validated, or even contemplated a policy of quotas for the recruitment of its training centers. The FFF also announced that it had authorized a full investigation into the matter and, as a result, suspended National Technical Director François Blaycourt pending the outcome of the investigation. Former national team player Lillian Thuram said of the allegations, Initially I thought this was a joke. I'm so stunned I don't know what to say while Patrick Vieira declared that comments allegedly made by manager Laurent Blanc at the meeting were serious and scandalous. The French government also weighed in on the issue, as then-President Nicolas Sarkozy was quoted as being viscerally opposed to any form of quota, while adding setting quotas would be the end of the republic. Following the investigation, Blanc was cleared of any wrongdoing. The following players were called up for the friendly matches against Colombia and Russia in March 2018, caps and goals as of November 14, 2017 after the match against Germany. The following players have been called up for France squad within the past 12 months. INJ withdrew due to injury, pre-preliminary squad slash standby. RET retired from international football, SUS suspended from national team. France was one of the four European teams that participated at the inaugural World Cup in 1930 and have appeared in 14 FIFA World Cups, tied for sixth best. The national team is one of eight national teams to have won at least one FIFA World Cup title. The France team won their first and only World Cup title in 1998. The tournament was played on home soil and France defeated Brazil 3-0 in the final match. In 2006, France finished as runners-up losing 5-3 on penalties to Italy. The team has also finished in third place on two occasions in 1958 and 1986 and in fourth place once Indiana 1982. The team's worst result in the competition was a first-round elimination in 2002 and 2010. In 2002, the team suffered an unexpected loss to Senegal and departed the tournament without scoring a goal. While in 2010, France suffered defeats to Mexico and South Africa and earned a point from a draw with Uruguay. France is one of the most successful nations at the UEFA European Football Championship having won two titles in 1984 and 2000. The team is just below Spain and Germany who have won three titles each. France hosted the inaugural competition in 1960 and have appeared in nine UEFA European Championship tournaments, tied for fourth best. The team won their first title on home soil in 1984 and were led by Ballon d'Or winner Michel Platini. 
In 2000, the team, led by FIFA World Player of the Year Zendine Zidane, won its second title in Belgium and the Netherlands. The team's worst result in the competition was a first-round elimination in 1992 and 2008. France have appeared in two of the eight FIFA Confederations Cups contested and won the competition on both appearances. The team's two titles place in second place only trailing Brazil who have won four. France won their first Confederations Cup in 2001 having appeared in the competition as a result of winning the FIFA World Cup in 1998. The team defeated Japan 1-0 in the final match. In the following Confederations Cup in 2003, France, appearing in the competition as the host country, won the competition beating Cameroon 1-0 after extra time. Ground number C96 FIFA World Cup Olympic Football Tournament UEFA European Championship FIFA Confederations Cup Evans Copy Trophy Artemio Franchi Trophy Last updated, October 10, 2017, Source French Football Federation Last updated, October 10, 2017, Source, French Football Federation Last updated, November 14, 2017, Source, French Football Federation Competitive Record FIFA World Cup Record UEFA European Championship Record FIFA Confederations Cup Record Minor Tournaments Honours Minor Titles Statistics Most Capped Players Top Goal Scorers Managers